of course, I'm from the investor side. We have a lot of questions, particularly on the cloud marketplace. And there is always the question, what is really setting apart Alsa's cloud marketplace to, to, the, to the competition? What, is really, what are the really unique features, what it sets apart uh, from, from the competition? That would be my first question. We cannot define when the customer is, a, is willing to buy or is willing to have that as a service, what is on vogue now. Everything is as a service. No? And the reality is our platform enables to have a view on the, on the hybrid infrastructure there is at the end of in the end customer. And that is what we are promoting. We are not selling software to our, our platform. Jan, maybe you can talk about functionalities we have on it because it's, it's a very key point which I believe is important for the industry to understand the opportunity behind that. Because the opportunity is to get the data to understand which part of the end part is coming from you and which part you want to transact or the customer wants to transact and which can be part of as a service mode. Okay, Jan? Our marketplace, as Gustavo mentioned, covers monetization of the whole working place, including devices, infrastructure, software, cloud, and IT services. In the platform, we provide analytics for channel partners to see which part of the working place is monetizing and what is the next opportunity. Uh, we offer channel partners to put their own branding on the platform and open it up for their end customers for self-service. And we also enable channel partners to easily onboard their own services um, that they sell along with the industry leading solutions that we bring into the markets. Of course, I'm trying to get more, you know, what is the feature compared to what is really setting you apart? And, and Jan kind of also nailed it down on adding kind of um, third party to the to the platform which i think others are not doing in that in that um, in that dimension you know I, I i believe that the best example can be stefan because he has uh, today about twelve thousand unique users and he is monetizing part of the of the potential he has on the user and uh, Stefan, you can tell a little bit what is happening there, what is your wish today to, to monetize, no? because I, I found your approach very interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, the idea behind was really um, to have a marketplace that is also customer centric and provide everything from there. So not only the Microsoft licenses, of course, we do that, but we've also developed a solution together with, with also um the solution is Elias and you can uh, just order your licenses and pay your licenses your Microsoft licenses when you really need it and this is something that is special to the marketplace because not just transacting this uh, these licenses it's also to have an API for us to implement our dynamic systems our ERP systems and so on to these marketplaces, the support behind, of course, and also some other ideas that come up. So also our product can be sold via this marketplace to other resellers. So we as a normal reseller get now into yeah, the, 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 the product owner and this guy who produces and takes care of this product and also gets uh, yeah, into the place to sell it to other resellers. And this is one of the special things in, the, in there. So another question I could also have to, to also is if there will be more opportunities in the future to also implement more or less a web shop, maybe your own web shop um, from, from the back end or also another web shop that already we have um, to integrate that in the, in the also cloud marketplace. A very good question, because the question is going in two directions, either for Octai, which is coming from the traditional reseller world, and, and he wants to understand where can be the opportunity for me to create part of my business consumption and, and how to do that. The reality is today we have a link 
if you are going to our web, you can click and you have a link to the cloud platform. That is a reality. What we are doing is integrating the backend because that is front end, that is bushy bushy, that are the pictures what I say every time. We are integrating the backend that has at the end of the day two great um, advantages. The one for the customers having the analytics that you are able in the analytics to see what is transactional, what is consumption, what can I sell through that. And the other one, the back-end functions, cybersecurity issues, data center issues in our company. We, we are working on that and we come suddenly an uh, integrated uh, um, a platform, let me say that, that. Important to understand this platform will be not only for working places, will be either for gaming places with the virtualization platform we have, will be either with Internet of Things, which is a monetization of infrastructure at home and infrastructure in the factory, and will be either uh, selling or giving you the opportunity to sell cybersecurity and artificial intelligence, which are the other platforms we are working on or we are, we are offering. Because the dream of everybody is to have a one-stop shopping or one-stop consumption, let me say that. And our job is to give you guys the opportunity to do that because our, you are our, our sales force to take the words of Octai. We are sales oriented. You are the guys who are taking responsibility of the details in the countries. And our job is to enable you to make better business through an integrated platform who is giving you the analytics to see the opportunities which are behind it. Today, you have the opportunity to work with the web and the SAMP. The reloaded uh, version will be, you will be able to have the analytics who are giving you the opportunity to make the real uh, promotional activities and sales decisions. Very good question. Thank you. We had, Jan, maybe if you want to jump in there, because we had also during CTV several questions from resellers going into the direction of the ACMP and the e-commerce um, classical web shop. Are they going to be aligned? Will that be the one-stop shop that we've heard so much about? What are, what are the plans here? Yes, yeah, so first of all, uh, the platforms already are connected today and uh, we have the roadmap of uh, joining them step by step uh, both on the back end and on the front end with the goal to offer uh, possibility for channel partners to put their own branding and open it up for sales service for their end customers so that through that they can get both transactional and consumptional uh, technologies uh, in addition with services that partners are bringing um, is, are there also services maybe later then provided by the cloud marketplace or also the integrated web shop that also wants to do for us as a white label partner, whatever, for example, helping with support, doing support, doing integrations, whatever. The, the issue about, Stefan, the issue that I will, I will put a little bit more on the table. We have like a menu card of services we are offering. And the issue is, in some cases, you compete with some resellers who are using these services. Therefore, it's a very, how do you say, focused discussion we must have with the reseller, understanding what is the wish they have and for what they need help. It begins with migration and it can end in cybersecurity issues. And, and we have the experts analyzing the architecture. Um, but one time more, not having the approach of selling you one brand having the approach to solve your problem. To sum up, will there be some kind of roadmap you also publish to resellers like us for, for these uh, ACMP and also uh, web shop integration, but also other features? You know, I made, a, I made a lot of mistakes in my life. And during these 10 years, I made a lot of mistakes. It seems to be some, some issues I did right. But one of the mistakes I, I did was to put a roadmap. Because the roadmap put discussions and, uh, with some resellers, which 
say to me, you want to compete with me. And they say, never in life, because I live from you. But in the roadmap, there are other resellers which are willing to uh, have these services. But they are more competitors. And say, well, sorry, but that is the, the, the way how we make business. At uh, this time, it was a big company. I will not use the name of the company because Mark knows me. At this time, I had a very discussion, a very big discussion with the CEO. And uh, he said to me, okay, then I must leave the business. Okay. We lost two years business with them, a couple of hundred million. Today, they are our, our, one of our biggest customers because they understood that the dynamic and the opportunity which this market is offering is so big. And not because somebody is getting, is enabled to do something, it's better than him not uh, doing that. And therefore, the power is your connection with your customers. The power is your sales ability, Octave. That is the most important issue, what you said. You are a sales organization. You are taking them care about the customers. You have the contact. I am not able to have it. I am not willing to have it. Imagine, easy calculation. I have 65,000, 65, 70,000, depends which year, but we sell us today, buying in the year. If I will hire only one person per reseller, I will be not able to pay the salaries. It's a very easy one. It's a very easy calculation. Our scalability, our approach is coming to you. I, I had this um, um, kind of follow-up question on, on the services um, um, beyond the marketplace. Um, I was uh, having all the time is, I mean, Support is one thing, but is the marketplace already supporting kind of kind of the, the whole deployment of software, which is still installed locally? So is the deployment of all the services also done through the marketplace, or do you need kind of um, the reseller third parties helping you with that, or is it done automatically? Uh, so yes, so today you can do it already in the marketplace and uh, uh, in the recent years we developed also device management capabilities in the marketplace with api integration for uh, for example uh, microsoft intune and windows autopilot which in combination allows uh, our channel partner to define the profile for specific um, uh, job title uh, or specific employee in the customer assign applications and then ship the device from the warehouse and with zero touch get all the applications loaded when the device is first time connected to the internet. So that is uh, um, available and uh, in use by uh, many resellers. Today. Uh, 